So today I am making something called mermaid hair and it has cedarwood, rosemary, and lavender essential oils and then um, alcohol-free witch hazel. Um, the alcohol-free part is pretty important because the alcohol will dry out your hair so that's definitely not what you want. Um, so it's a pretty simple recipe. So th 30 drops of each cedarwood, rosemary, and lavender, and then two to three ounces of the alcohol-free witch hazel. I got the rose petal scented one because it sounded nice. Anyways, so um, you can use this on wet or dry hair. If you do it on wet hair, um, like if you take your shower and then you want to spray it on, um, massage it into your scalp, it's good to use on dry hair as well. It just helps promote healthy hair and hair growth. Um, you can use it on kids, you can use it on men, um, it's good for everybody. So, I have a glass bottle. Um, a lot of people use like the spray bottles that you go like this. I don't have one of those on hand, so I'm just using one with the pump. Um, just use what you have. Um, so I have three ounces of the witch hazel. And then 30 drops of rosemary. I'm sorry, this is cedarwood. drops of rosemary. Kind of hurts to use this many drops of oils. <laughs> and 30 drops of lavender. And put the top on and then just make sure to shake it up really good and shake it up before you use it each time as well um, store it in a dark place like we do with everything with oils and you should be good to go um, I would love to see some before and afters if you try this I will post some of my own once um, uh, I have some before and afters so I'm excited to try it um, Comment below if you have any questions or comments and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Hope you'll have a good day. Bye.